Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. What? When did you do the? What was the name of the opioid documentary you called? Oxiana. Oxiana. How long ago did you make that one? Oxiana came out in 2013. We shot it in 2012. Um, that was basically we had made this film, American Juggalo, and right after it, I was like, that achieved. That was like the first thing that we did that really popped off. And Juggalo. Uh, yeah, American Juggalo, and we were like. I think that my next thing needs, like, I need to, this is, my career is starting right now. Like, you can feel it palpably. I'm like, oh, the spotlight's on me. People care. I, I could make something um, bigger and more ambitious. And I didn't know what it was going to be. I knew I was kind of drawn to those stories. But um, we actually were just on a road trip, me and a friend and a country singer friend of ours, Johnny Fritz. And uh, he had... Um, when he grew up in Virginia and he said, we used to fucking take ATV tours. We used to hang out in the mountains of West Virginia in this town, Oceana, we should go there. So we just go pulling into Oceana one night on a long road trip. And, uh, it's this, it's this coal, old coal mining town in the middle of fucking nowhere in West Virginia. It's an hour away from any other town. You just, you really feel like you're driving into the middle of nowhere, weaving through these mountains, there's no lights and you're going into this town. And, uh, we got there and it was an eerie feeling as soon as we got there. I could tell something was like a little, kind of how all of America feels right now. That's how Oceana felt when we first showed up there. It's like, just like, maybe I shouldn't be here. Yeah, something's off. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. And, but we, I, I was like, I don't know how to really, I, I don't know. Let me figure out what's going on. And then we saw a juggalo. And I was like, I know how to talk to juggalos. <laughs> oh, These are at uh, home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I went up to this guy and I was like, yo, what up? Whoop, whoop. And he's like, yo, what up? I was like, yeah, I made this movie, American Juggalo. He's, holy shit, oh my God, you made that. What the fuck, yo? And, and like, he was excited. So I'm, I was talking to this guy for five minutes and he like takes me over the side and he's like, you want to know the real, the truth about what's going on around here? I'm like, yeah, what is it? He's like, dope. This whole town is full of dope. That's all it is. He's like, it's so much, there's so much dope here that they call this place Oxiana. They don't even call it Oceana. Everyone calls it Oxiana. The cops are in on it. The judges, the fucking everybody's in on it. Everybody is on this shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck? 10 minutes after that he's shooting up in front of us and i was like all right this guy he might be telling the truth this seems pretty fucked up and then you just like look around you get a sense of the place you're like yeah this is weird so we hung out for a few days got to know some more people and then in the back of my head i was like this could be a movie and uh, i'll come back and i'll make sure it is so it came back a couple months later and just went there with my cinematographer hillary spira me cast her and a producer went down there no cameras just showing up as people and we stand out like a fucking sore thumb in, in mm -hmm. west virginia and we started picking up hitchhikers that was the way we made that movie we just started picking up hitchhikers because there's a ton of them and they would get in the car and we'd start asking them questions we'd ask where we were taking them who you know we were just kind of putting two and two together getting a, a sense of the scene that's how we mainly we, we mapped the territory by picking up uh, and you weren't filming any of no, this? No, just just making friends. So then we went down there, down there a few months later with the cameras, and uh, we were we were doing a Kickstarter for the film at the time. When, this was a mistake. We were running an active Kickstarter when we went to make the movie. So the people in the town, the, uh, especially some of the drug people, knew we were coming down there to make a movie, and we were getting threats like, don't fucking come down here with your cameras. We'll blow your head off if you show up in this town with cameras digging around in the drug scene. So it was like a little bit harrowing going down there. We had to have like two plainclothes security officers with us the whole time, like that were packing heat and like make sure. And and they needed to pull their guns a couple times really? while we were making the movie. Yeah, yeah. So we get down there and we just um, there there was re there's no way to plan for a movie like that. You're just in a town that has a problem. It's like how do you even tell that story? So we we're just like let's just talk to whoever will talk to us and <clears throat> talk to one addict, talk to one dealer. They, they tell their friends like these people are actually cool. It was really cathartic to talk to them. It made me feel better to tell my story. Just one thing led to another. And we, we interviewed a lot of people in that town. And um, yeah, that was, that was our first feature length movie. Oxiana. It's out there on our YouTube channel for free. So you raise all the money on Kickstarter for it. Yeah. Yeah. We raised uh 70 grand for that one. Whoa. Yeah. For in a month. That's when you could do that. So like, I feel like a lot of stuff that made my career, you couldn't even do now. Like, there's so much. Everyone is doing Like, it's just like, I don't even know how the fuck I would get something noticed now. You know? Like, literally all I used to do was make the thing and put it out. No marketing or promoting or right. money behind it you or anything. You used to be able to send to a blog and you're like, all yeah. of a sudden, whoa, whoa yeah. look how many views. You got, how, how many people did it take to raise 70,000? Um, a thousand. 
One thousand people, seventy thousand yeah. yeah, dollars. Yeah, I think that's yeah. Maybe less. Huh? Yeah, that's insane. I know. That was we did it again too for Cam Girls. The, 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 oh a year God. later, raised more. We raised even more with Cam Girls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 That was cool. That's a trip. That's like that's what I mean when you. I'm like you have to fall in love with every part of the process. Otherwise, it's gonna be fucking torturous. Like I thought you were just paying for all this out of your own pocket. The shorts. For, the shorts. Yeah, because they cost four grand, but that like the budget for oxiana was probably 200 in the end i <clears throat> i pumped a bunch of money into it another producer did we raised that money online but we paid everyone back everyone got their money back we never really made money on any of these movies but we are we also haven't really lost money it's it's kind right. of a weird thing like it's it's not really tangible like we put out a movie and we got commercial attention mm. so uh, that seems to be the way the universe pays it back but all our yeah. stuff is free uh that's been important to us I think, and it's uh, it's also been important to us to premiere on the internet as opposed to on a network or um, or a film festival or anything like that. That's I think that's super important to us. Yeah, YouTube's pretty awesome. It's it amazing. Up. It's amazing. YouTube is like one of the fucking best things. It's the worst because they just demonetize your channel for talking about psychedelics. But, right. You know. <laughs> yeah, there's also a lot of weird wonky shit going on with YouTube and the way they're trying to. Have you heard about that uh, that uh, their law they tried to pass in that last COVID bill with the it was called Section Two Thirty Communications Decency Act or something like that. No. Have you heard of that? No. Basically, when like you. YouTube and Facebook first came out like I think it was 2006 maybe somewhere around there mm. they came out with a law that basically says these platforms are immune to legal action because there's third-party people like you and I posting content on there so you can't sue YouTube oh. mm. like you can go you can go after the people yeah. that make it yeah. which I think it makes sense uh -huh. or else YouTube wouldn't exist probably yeah they'd be getting sued right every day <laughs> And there's like also there's part of it's a copyright law to where like if you violate someone's copyright, like if I post Florida man and say this was mine, I'm obviously violating copyright law. Mm. YouTube can't be sued for that. I can be sued for that, which is rightfully so. OK, cool. So I think it makes sense. Mm. But Trump was trying to get rid of that. Well, well, cause he hates these platforms. Cause he hates these platforms. Yeah. It's very personal for him. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that doesn't really, I don't know. That doesn't add up. And you're like, oh yeah, these platforms censor you. So, so it's, uh, it's like, I think it's up in the air right now. I don't know all the, the specific details on like the, the politics of it and how the people that are voting for it, the people who aren't voting for it, but I know it's kind mm -hmm. of up in the air right now. What's going to happen with that? I don't wow. know what's going to happen, but it's kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of scary how much power these platforms have to just yeah. make or break your life. You know, like we just were, we woke up one day and we were demonetized. We were like, okay, nothing we can really do about the it. The whole anymore. channel. Yeah. What? Yeah, I know. And it's like, fuck man, Oxiana is about to have a, a million views. We haven't made a dime off that. We're on unemployment right now because we can't fucking work. What was like, the reason they de they say they demonetized your whole entire channel? Because of what we're talking about. Whoa. They were like, your content is not in line with who we advertise to. And like- Was it just a video though? Or every every video you upload? I don't know. We're guessing they don't really like the tags. I mean, even American Juggalo is a little- yeah. If he, you know, because even off. Deckhands, uh, there's only one episode that's not monetized on that, and that's some fucking gnarly shit that we're doing. Why did they hands. demonetize it? Because it was, uh, I think it was the woman who gave birth. The title is the woman who gave birth to her father's son. She talks about getting raped by oh. her dad and having her dad's son, and yeah. like an ad for dog food comes up during. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I can kind of understand that a little bit. Yeah, but at least they didn't take the video down. I understand. Okay, don't run ads on it. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't take our videos down, but they just say you can't make money off them. It's fucked up. Yeah, that's super fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we, I, I think we'll figure it out. I, th I think it's like the, the way to do it is like to kind of have your tentacles spread everywhere. It's yeah. like we might get a commercial. We might get a little money from Patreon. We might get a little money from YouTube. You know, we might get hired to do some other weird shit. Mm -hmm. Who fucking knows? Just trying to be adaptable. Yeah. Yeah, you got to adapt to these.